You want to know the number one reason why most people don't succeed? Is because their ambition doesn't match their work ethic. They want to do great things, but they're not willing to work for greatness. And to whom much is given, much is required. I'm out here in North Austin right now at the Domain, biggest shopping plaza, nicest shopping plaza out here in North Austin. Just checking out some of the sites before I call it a night for the week. But I really wanted to be able to do this video for you to talk to you about the number one reason why most people fail. You know, everybody wants to dream big. You know, it, it's easy for people to want the nice house. It's easy for people to want to be able to have the flashy car and the great family and travel the world and do all of these great things that the average person isn't doing. But are most people willing to give above average effort? That's the question. The number one reason why most people will not end up accomplishing the things that they truly desire to accomplish is simply because of the fact that their ambition and their work ethic is not one and the same. You may dream of greatness, but what happens to you once you wake up from that dream and it's actually time to get to work? Are you constantly trying to take those dreams and turn them into a reality? Or are you still living the same narrative um, that you've always been living? You're living the exact same life today as you lived yesterday. And maybe your yesterday was average working. Maybe you were doing things that you didn't really want to do, being around people that you didn't really want to be around, you know, and those activities that you were engaged in, they had nothing to do with the better you, the greater you, the dream that you had in your life. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to think about how you can become someone that not only has high ambition, but you have high standards for your own work. No more average, no more 50%. If you wanna achieve 100% greatness, guess what? That means that you have to be pulling in 100% results. But the thing about it is this, you know, most of us, we wanna be able to, you know, have the nice job and be the CEO. But a lot of times people have a busboy work ethic. To whom much is given, much is required. It is possible for you to be able to achieve greatness. And that's why I really say, shame on the person that has little ambition, but a lot of work that they're putting in. Because if you're doing work every single day, why work if it's not towards greatness? Why work somewhere every single day if you're doing something that you don't care about? You know, why work and run yourself into the ground dealing with people that you don't want to deal with just to make ends meet when there's better opportunities out here in the world for you? If you're alive right now and you're watching this video, you are living during one of the greatest times of opportunity known to man. But maybe you don't see it. See, maybe the work isn't your problem. It's a small mind. You gotta think big and you gotta work at a very large level. You will become successful when your ambition and your thoughts coupled with your work ethic are one. So I want you to leave me a comment below and I want you to tell me a time where your eyes were bigger than your stomach. You know what, maybe you wanted to be the person that wrote your own book. But then once it got time to you actually doing it, you gave up because you realized, you know what? I'm not the person that will work hard enough to sit down at a computer screen and actually type out a book. You know, maybe you wanted to be the person to start your own business, but did you have the courage to do it? Did you actually have the drive? Were you able to actually overcome all the doubters and the naysayers when they told you otherwise? You might have had the ambition and you might have had the dreams but did you have the drive? See, look behind me right now. Right now, I'm standing in front of this Rolex store. All Rolex is, is the thought of somebody else. Somebody else had ambition to create the company that we know today as Rolex. One of the highest luxury companies in the world. That all started with somebody's ambition. But the thing is, it didn't end with somebody's ambition. It ended with work, preparation, Blood, sweat, and tears, focus, discipline, stamina, endurance. These are all tools that you have, but you're probably spending them right now on the wrong thing. The same energy that you're having right now, getting into confrontations with people, use that towards building your dream. 
The same energy that you're using right now to deal with people you don't want to deal with at a job that you hate, channel that energy and put it towards your dream. Nobody else is going to do this for you. Understand what I'm saying. Listen to me good. Nobody else is going to do this for you. You have to be the one that says, you know what? I've talked about what I want to do long enough. I've come up with enough New Year's resolutions long enough. I've talked and, you know, chatted with people about who I thought I could be, what I thought I could become, and I've seen no results long enough. Now I got to cut the crap and I got to back up the talk and I got to walk the walk. Talk is cheap, okay? And if you read my new book that I just came out with, The Valedictorian That Still Lives at Home with Mommy and Daddy, you know what I always say. Skills pays the bills. I got that from uh, Floyd Mayweather, one of the best at what he does. You gotta be skilled because it's not enough for you to just have high ambitions. You have to have high skills. You have to have high drive, high work ethic, okay? So I want you to leave me a comment below and I want you to tell me about a time where you found yourself dreaming for something, but then once you got up from that dream, you didn't actually get to work. You didn't actually step up and say, you know what? It was good that I was, that was a good thought. Let me turn it into reality. You got to know how to be able to create the world based upon your dreams. Why leave it as a dream? You can take a dream and turn it into your reality. Steve Jobs did it. Henry Ford did it. You know, Thomas Edison did it. When are you going to do it? When are you going to be the next inventor? When are you going to be the next person that's a success story? It's all up to you. I want you to leave me a comment below. And I want you to tell me about a time where you might have had great ambition, but you didn't have the great drive. And I want you to tell me about how you're going to merge the two together to help build your lifetime legacy. I want you to subscribe to this video. Continue to check out the channel. And I want us together to be able to change the world. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to dream big, but also be willing to put in the work.